And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn you back and put hooks into your jaws, and I will bring you forth and all your army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Turgorma, of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with you. Be you prepared, and prepare for yourself, you and all your company that are assembled unto you, and be you a guard unto them. After many days you shall be visited. In the latter years you shall come into the land that is brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people, against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste, but is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. You shall ascend and come like a storm. You shall be like a cloud to cover the land, you and all your bands, and many people with you. Thus says the Lord God, It shall also come to pass, that at the same time shall things come into your mind, and you shall think an evil thought, and you shall say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates, to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn your hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish, with all the young lions thereof, shall say unto you, Are you come to take a spoil? Have you gathered your company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus says the Lord God, In that day when my people of Israel dwell safely, shall you not know it? And you shall come from your place out of the north parts, you and many people with you, all of them riding upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And you shall come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land, it shall be in the latter days. And I will bring you against my land, that the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in you, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus says the Lord God, Are you he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring you against them? And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, says the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. So that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains, says the Lord God. Every man's sword shall be against his brother. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood. And I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him. An overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Therefore, you, son of man, prophesy against Gog and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and I will turn you back and leave but the sixth part of you, and will cause you to come up from the north parts, and will bring you upon the mountains of Israel. And I will smite your bow out of your left hand, and will cause your arrows to fall out of your right hand. 
You shall fall upon the mountains of Israel, you and all your bands, and the people that is with you. I will give you unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. You shall fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it, says the Lord God. And I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name any more. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One in Israel. Behold, it is come, and it is done, says the Lord God. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth, and shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows and the arrows, and the handstaves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years, so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoiled them, and rob those that robbed them, says the Lord God. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers, and there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude, and they shall call it the valley of Haman Gog. And seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them, that they may cleanse the land. Yes, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, says the Lord God. And they shall sever out men of continual employment, passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it. After the end of seven months shall they search. And the passengers that pass through the land, when any sees a man's bone, then shall he set up a sign by it, till the barriers have buried it in the valley of Hamangog. And also the name of the city shall be Hamona. Thus shall they cleanse the land. And you, son of man, thus says the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl and to every beast of the field. Assemble yourselves and come. Gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that you may eat flesh and drink blood. You shall eat the flesh of the mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, and of goats, of bullocks, all of them fatlings of Bashan. And you shall eat fat till you be full and drink blood till you be drunken of my sacrifice, which I have sacrificed for you. Thus you shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men and with all men of war, says the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and all the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed, and my hand that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name. After that they have borne their shame, and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them unto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I hide my face any more from them, for I have poured out my Spirit upon the house of Israel, says the Lord God.